Hey everybody, Uniservo here, and I have a paper problem. Now, uh, <laughs> one of the things that I got yelled at by the fire marshal was, of course, having too much loose paper around, including these Gaylords here. And we'll go up to it here, and I've been working on this one, thin in and out because my fire reinspection is a, a bit away, it got pushed back, but I, I really need to show progress. Well, I've done a lot of things, but the paper was the big thing, and I really want to show him that, well, I'm doing stuff. Also, it's just it just needs to be done. I mean, I've had this paper pile, and this is just a little bit of it uh, that I got out of, mostly out of radio research, a long-gone surplus uh, military electronics place. Uh, Cripes, five, six years now? I don't know. No, not five years. Maybe four years. Anyway, um, yeah, it turns out I took out somewhere between 18 and 20 pallets, either pallets of pack boxes or Gaylords of, well, their technical library and any other bit of paper I could find around the place. Uh, but it's time to move a lot of it on. And, uh, well, you know, some of it I'm, I'm going to keep for now. Eventually I need to find a home for it. Someone who will, uh, someone somewhere that will scan and archive it. Some of it, of course, has been archived already. But I'm asking for some help on some of the weirder things. Uh, maybe see if I could field some suggestions from uh, you guys to see who might want some of the otter things? So, yeah, this is mostly military and government paperwork here. Tech manuals, blueprints, stuff like that. Yeah, some of it was once quite highly classified, but no, there's there's nothing like that in here anymore. It's, it's mostly 50s, 60s, uh, not even a whole lot of 70s material, and I don't think I've seen a date from the 80s. But... Uh, yeah, if I do come across anything that might still be classified, well, unfortunately, yeah, I'm I'm burning that stuff because, well, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. It's just, uh, yeah, th there's going to be some sacrifices. But there is some stuff here which is not classified anymore, and I just need to find homes for it. Like, I've got a lot of this. Let's get all the dust off here. I've got a lot of these big, oddly shaped binders for, you know, kind of zoom in there. This is uh, from Reeves, the Prelort radar, and there's also Verlort. Um, Prelort, I think, meant precision long range tracking radar. And this is from the uh, satellite control facilities. Um, this is, I think, 19. Let's see if we can find. Well, it says 1968, and you can see here, this is for something that <laughs> got re uh, superseded, so this is just a <laughs> reference, I guess. But I've got a lot of this stuff, and um, yeah, it's kind of neat. Well, maybe it's kind of boring, too, because <laughs> this one's uh, just a bunch of, well, fold-out drawings. But there's other stuff. Um, I also have some uh, FAA over here we've got some uh building a little pile of, of all the faa uh docs i can find for some of their technical things including the uh there we go the video defruiting equipment group i mean that's a great name you know it's worth the worth a manual just for the name but um i'm not particularly interested in the faa stuff but i do recognize that yeah, the uh, electronics at the FAA, uh, they didn't really build it. Other people built it. But uh, that's kind of important stuff, actually. And I need to find homes for, for the, the like the, the non-military, the quasi-military stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is um, or like this pre radar thing. United States Air Force Space and Missile Systems Organization. Um, I'd like to find a museum that uh, would want this stuff and preferably prefer preserve and scan it. And you can see, yeah, some of it's uh, <laughs> pretty well-worn. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. 
Yeah, this is for uh, the Verlort, which I forget what Verlort stands for, but it's it's along the same along the same lines. And uh, somewhere in here, or one of these binders, or Gaylords rather, might be this one, is a full tech set, manual set for some of the Canadian airport radars. I mean, the big ones, like you'd, you'd see it, you know, in the Toronto airport or whatever. Or uh, what am I going to do with that stuff? I don't want it. I got to get rid of it. Um, do any of you guys know an organization that sort of, well, maybe wants to preserve airport stuff or general radar stuff? Uh, one of the truths about, uh, ugly truth about, um, well, the radar museums and radar uh, organizations is a lot of them only want military radars. And the maritime stuff, the, the air traffic control stuff, doesn't go anywhere. No interest. So, uh, yeah, if... You know, I don't know, maybe maybe Historical Electronics Museum, I need to find out if they might be interested in this. But they are, once again, they're mostly about military radars. So, yes, I'm taking suggestions. Um, here we see a bunch of uh, military stuff. APS 103, APS 104, APS 45. Uh, so that's that's all like 60, late 60s military radar aircraft. Yeah, that, that's cool stuff. There's not, not a problem with that. Um, yeah, God knows what... You know, I pack these things in such a hurry, I don't even remember what's in them. So it's been a little bit of a uh, <laughs> exciting dig. Um, there's a keyboard I'm not going to tell you about. Um, yeah, and just stuff here. Like, uh, here's, here's a... Uh, well, some sort of article about Tacan. Well, that's pretty cool. Tacan is kind of important. And yeah, I've got an awful lot of industrial catalogs and flyers and things like that. Those I'm just boxing up, putting them together. I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, maybe Jason Scott will get them. Uh, get get a few boxes of these. He, he can he can scan and put up on a archive or whatever. Um, yeah, you know that's that's one of my my sort of requirements about who gets this stuff is. Yeah, I would like it properly archived. Yeah, there are a lot of guys out there who say, yeah, I'll take it, I'll scan it, and put it on my website. And, well, you know how that ends up a lot of the time. Yeah, so, you know, my gold standard is, is BitSavers. <laughs> and, you know, archive.org is, is, is a close second, although I don't like their, their user interface. Um, but, yeah, properly archived is what I'm looking for. Yeah, and there's some rare stuff here, like this. Uh, APQ-40 was a experimental radar. I think they made two of them. Unsuccessful design. But uh, eventually, I do need to uh, get this stuff to the right home. But the initial stuff that I want to get rid of is this stuff that I really don't have a whole lot of interest in. That's, that's a bunch of Nike Ajax stuff. So I, I know there is a group that's interested in this, and uh, I don't know, maybe maybe they'll get it. Um, I, I just need to start cutting back, and uh, well, we'll back back in the corner here, which I did a video about a long time ago. But you can see there's just oodles and oodles of boxes. That whole back row is just boxes. They're full of manuals. They are full of manuals that I I need to go through. Now the boxes when they're in the boxes. They're not really a fire hazard anymore, so that's cool. So I'm not going to deal with those right now. But, um, yeah, it's it's this stuff that the fire marshal does not like. Uh, there's a bunch of SCR 584 manuals, which I occasionally actually sell one. Um, yeah, large format. Uh, and, yeah, okay, obviously this this Gaylord is mostly cables. <laughs> uh, cyber cyber channel cables or some deck stuff. Yeah. Deck. Um, but yeah, yeah, I got to make room. He also complained about the uh, the aisle. You know, that, that's 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 not a big aisle. <laughs> so I, he complained about that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys, you 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 tech guys, 
know of some museums that maybe I have not thought about that uh, would like to have some of this stuff. And I mean, you know, like this stuff here, just pay for postage. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a heavy box because look at the damn things. Um, but I'm not looking to get money out of this. Uh, I, I just want this to go somewhere. It's, it, you know, okay, yeah, with the Canadian air, um, air traffic control radar, that might be a really big box. <laughs> it might cost a lot to get over the border. But, um, yeah, I'm not willing, I'm not looking to sell. I'm looking to just get rid of it. Eh, time frame is sooner than later. Um, yeah, because I just don't want to pulp it. It's, it's, it's interesting, not interesting enough for me, out of my scope of collecting. Someone's got to love it up, scan it, archive it. And uh, that way it's, well, hopefully safe forever. So, well, yeah, that's one of the things I've been doing. Um, instead of making interesting videos, I'm showing you a bunch of uh, paper. Oh, well. But, hey, it's for a good cause. So, yep. All right. Well, I got to get back to work here. You can see some of my already stacked piles. And this 1961 HP catalog. Uh, yeah, there's, they're all going into a nice box. I'll probably keep those because those are... Those are damn cool, aren't they? Um, also, a bunch of tech catalogs. Uh, but yeah, this place had just catalogs and, and, and directories like, like you wouldn't believe. All right, then. Uh, yeah, and then some of the stuff, like, like this stuff here is... You know, some of these manuals are so ex insanely common that... Uh, in fact, I think you can even still order these from the government. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to send them right to recycling. Hey, I've already been getting a lot of recycling. Stuff that's been water damaged too far or uh, or maybe complete incomplete or stuff that I have 20 of because, you know, uh, you know, like, like like those radar manuals over there, the SCR 584 manuals. You know, I must I think I took out a complete Gaylord of them already. Uh, so, yeah, like a lot of them can just go and get recycled. All right, well, I got to get back to work. Throw me some suggestions into the uh, into the comments. And I shall, you know, maybe you'll light a spark and I'll go, oh, hey, I didn't think of those guys. Um, but yeah, got to save this stuff. All right, I hope you like the video here. And actually, this one maybe share around uh, more so than, than not. <laughs> Simply because, yes, it, it, the idea is to, to save a bunch of this weird tech documentation. Oh, I guess I should say that because a lot of this stuff is military and government, it might have to stay in the U.S. Well, other than the Canadian thing, because, well, it's Canadian. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of the, the radar stuff may need to stay in the U.S. Export reasons. You know, it's always a weird, gray, shady area. So, yeah, share this around. I need suggestions of where this stuff can live. Uh, give this video a like, too. And, uh, hey, if you like this sort of thing, maybe subscribe. Watch some of my past videos. And I do have a Patreon account under Uniservo. Even a dollar a day helps a bunch. Uh, for one, just the gas to get some of this junk <laughs> paper <laughs> to, the, to the recycling center. Um, uh, yeah, hey. I am still trying to work out the Patreon thing, and, and there's about, I don't know, seven or eight or nine patrons, which I do need to thank profusely. Um, and uh, yeah, eventually I'll make a nice ending screen or something like that, that that shows you all off and says, hey, these guys are the heroes. All right. I guess I got to get back to work. Ooh, R390.